angling adventures and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to tie a deep water Lake Erie perch rig. This is the materials you need to tie the perch rig. You need some uh, monofilament or fluorocarbon line in 14 to 20 pound test. You need to use that because you need a stiffer line to keep the hook from getting wrapped around. Now you got some uh, bell sinkers here, a uh, half ounce to one ounce we use. You need some gold hooks, long shank gold hooks, and some uh, different colored beads. Okay, first of all, you need to pull off about four to five feet of monofilament or fluorocarbon, whatever you're using. Okay, we're going to go about a foot up from the bottom of the tag end, and we're going to form a loop here. Now we got this loop. Okay, now we got this loop. We're going to form a knot here, go over the top, pull it through. And we're going to make five wraps around here. One, two, So we get five wraps on here, on this loop. And now we're going to wet the knot first and pull it tight. Okay, now you can see we have a, a loop here formed in the main line. What we're going to do is measure up about eight inches and then pull and form another loop here. Now we're going to do the same thing, form an overhand knot here, make five wraps. Now we have two loops tied, one a foot up from the bottom, and then another one eight inches above. Okay, now you got two loops formed. You're going to take, find the bottom of the loop here, and right next to the knot, leave just a little bit clip the bottom section. So now you have one piece of line coming off your main line. That's all one piece. And now, now you cut the loops. You have two lines to tie your hooks onto. So pretty much we're all set here, okay? Okay, at the bottom we're going to tie it a sinker on. Just a basic knot. Nothing fancy. This way you get a snag, you pull it off. Just like three. Okay, now we got our sinker tied. We got one line about eight inches up. Another one eight inches up. Go about a foot above that line and tie a surgeon's knot. Okay, tie a surgeon's knot to attach our main line to. Go through once and then twice. Let the knot pull it tight. And here's our connection to our main line. Yeah, we got a surgeon's loop right there at the top. Sinker. And those loops we cut, we have hanging out as single pieces of line here. Now we're going to add some beads and tie the hooks on. Okay, now we're going to tie hooks on. Got some gold hooks here. A couple different styles of gold hooks. We're going to add some beads to the hooks. You don't need beads, but sometimes I like a little extra attractor on there. This one I'm going to add a green and a blue bead. Okay, now we got the beads on the line. We're going to add a long shank gold hook. Okay. For this type of hook here, I'm just going to tie a basic uh, trilene knot. For the top hook, I'm going to add a pink bead. Tie another gold hook on. 
Okay, we got our perch rig tied up here. Hook about eight inches up, another one, another eight inches up. Got some beads on there. Add a couple minnows and we're ready to fish. And that's how we tie our perch rigs. Got something bigger on it.